We're going to do the show on Thursday afternoon at about 2 o'clock. We're going to talk about the upcoming derby preps, but we're putting it on Hawthorne's YouTube channel so people can go back and take a look leading up to those races each and every Saturday. Just a chance to analyze the races a little bit, but also a chance to give everybody a head start on our spring stakes showdown at Hawthorne. And this is a little bit different contest cap. It's 20 stakes races each and every weekend, and it's not going to be limited just to the derby preps, but you're going to get a mythical $20 win place wager. It's free to sign up for it. You don't have to live in Illinois, but the prizes are awesome. There's an NHC seat on the line. There's multiple $1,000 prizes for each of the representative Club Hawthorne OTB location type setups. So there's going to be 10 of those out there too. And Cap, you get a chance to go against me. You get a chance to go against you. This week's first race is the Barbara Fritchie Stakes. Now, this is one of those things where it's not a three-year-old prep race, but it's a cool race, Cap. It's at Laurel Park. Phillies and Mares are going seven-eighths of a mile in Cap. The reason we chose this race is because each and every year for the Breeders' Cup, you have the Philly and Mare Sprint. Philly and Mare Sprint is a seven-eighths of a mile race. There's not a lot of great sprint races for Phillies and Mares, but this is one earlier on in the year that kind of gives you a head start. So I want to talk briefly. We'll give each of our selections for the Spring Stakes Showdown, but I'm going to let you go at it first, Cap. It's race number eight at Laurel on Saturday. What did you like with the Barbara Fritchie? Okay, so I'm going to play Jakarta. This was a bargain basement horse that they did not pay a lot of money to buy this horse. It's the 70th running of that race. And Jakarta, first start on turf for the new connections. Uh, won a claiming allowance back on dirt. Got a stakes win in the powder break at Gulfstream. And I really like this horse. I think this horse has a chance to be, I'm not going to tell you special, but be pretty solid. And I think it's the best horse in the race uh, this weekend. And that's going to be your play. And here's the thing. It's a nine-time winner. For nearing half a million dollars, the horse surpasses half a million with a win in this race. Has raced at the distance three times. Does have a win. The one thing for me with Jakarta, it's going to be the first start at Laurel Park. So that was the only reason that I... Wasn't too sure about it. But at the same time, there's some that have run here at Laurel, some that haven't. I went with a horse that also did not race at Laurel Park. That was Glass Ceiling. That's the two horse here. I think this is the only horse that can't beat Jakarta. I'm, I'm eating chalk in this spot. I want to get some money when we get started for the Spring Stakes Showdown. But the thing that's interesting is you look at these graded stakes, Cap, you can't race on Lasix in a graded stake. So you have to look at how horses have performed without Lasix. And that's the thing that I like because you look back, all right, Jakarta's last start out, came off Lasix, ran a good race in the grade two. Glass Ceiling in those starts two and three back, raced off of Lasix, both of those pretty good races also. I think it's going to come down to a rider's race. Jakarta's the horse that can show some speed. My horse is going to have to try to catch that horse, but Glass Ceiling's going to be my play in the Spring Stakes Showdown. But Cap, you're getting a little bit better value. So that's one of those things. If you win, you're going to get the jump on a lot of people, especially for those that pick Glass Ceiling. And I know you like prices, my friend. And Glass Ceiling was a $40,000 claimer. It's not yep. like this horse had, you know, Sheik's bidding millions of dollars against this horse. Glass Ceiling is very good in the slop, too. Uh, the last race that I watched of Glass Ceiling was the Garland of Roses yep. and won it in the slop. This horse has uh, got a lot of good qualities about it. There's a lot of good qualities. I love when a rider is willing to travel with a horse because then he thinks that horse is good enough. So Dylan Davis, the regular jock for this horse for the last uh, five starts, goes with glass ceiling again. That's one thing that I really like. But Jakarta gets a guy, and Victor Carrasco is very familiar with the Laurel Park track. So, Cap, we'll see how things unfold there.